Hey there guys, welcome to another Linux video. Today we are running Yuzu, which is a Nintendo Switch emulator, and we're running Super Mario Odyssey. Now, I did a video of how the performance was on SMO, and then about two days later, um, a new build was released with a new PR that boosted the performance a lot, like a ridiculous amount for a lot of games. The reason why I'm concentrating on Super Mario Odyssey is because Pokemon's all played out for me, and I was replaying, um, you know, the game from entirety, from start to finish, since the res scaler was also implemented, and I wanted to sort of, you know, get ahead of the game and sort of build the perfect one, and I've kind of done that. Now, the footage you're watching is a bit early, and we just are finishing uh, the Lost Island, or whatever it's called, uh, the Lost Kingdom, I think. Um, and I'm just getting a whole bunch of stars and stuff. So, oh, I said stars again. Jesus, why do they have to change it from moons to stars? I get the focus, but it's kind of annoying for real Mario fans because, you know, it was always stars. So there's a lot uh, left in this level. I just grabbed four and then we moved on to Metro, which you probably don't see, but... The performance there is about 40 FPS. So if you get 40 FPS in Metro, it's going to be a very playable experience. Um, it was a very playable experience in the Lost Kingdom as well. And even the Sand Kingdom was ridiculously playable. That's how good this boost was. Now on Windows, I would normally have probably 5 to 10 FPS less, depending on the scene. But with Linux, with an overclock, you sort of get the best. So you, you, you get a good five to 10 FPS extra, maybe an extra five FPS depending on your specs. If you have Linux set up properly, say go with Pop! OS instead of just avoid Ubuntu altogether. Uh, Pop! OS is more optimized. Um, update your kernel to 5.3 and install the newest drivers. And if you're on NVIDIA, you should be able to get this type of performance with my specs. If you have a much more powerful PC, you'll get a much more powerful performance and it will definitely show. Now, um, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the footage. There's not much else left to say and I will see you at the end of the video. All right, guys, there's just a small note before I jump to the gameplay fully and let you hear what's there um, or see my bad. There is no game audio because game audio is cancer still and I don't want your ears getting hurt. Another thing is I'm using Arch Linux. It's pure Arch Linux. I'm not using any pre-made distro that is bloated and messy like Manjaro. So remember that I did not use Endeavor OS because I, really, I never really could get it to this amount of performance. Anyway, enjoy the gameplay. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I welcome all new people and I will be doing more updates like this. When Link Awakening becomes fully playable, I will be doing a video where I will be doing a lot of gameplay in a single video. So look forward to that. I hope you guys enjoy the Linux experience and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Stay weird.